Hey everyone, today is the day after the big picket. It's Mother's Day. <coughs> so everybody, have a good Mother's Day. It is May 11th. We had a lot of fun yesterday. I interviewed a good amount of people. You'll see that on this next tape. And I interviewed Everyday Joe. Something happened to his aunts. And that's unfortunate what happened, but you'll hear about it soon on this next video. And uh, hello to Tori. I love you a lot, and I uh, hope you're having a good Mother's Day with whoever you're spending Mother's Day with. And Jason, I finally met the movie star Jason Begay. He was awesome. Tori told me I really like him a lot. She was right. <coughs> he has a lot of balls. And keep it up, Jason. I really appreciate you coming out and doing what you're doing. And all to all the anonymous, you guys all are really cool, and you guys did a great job. And we are hoping to stop the abuses of Scientology. So I'm very, very happy I'm no longer in that nasty cult Scientology. Because I would not be spending so much time like I can now with my little baby girl, Gwendolyn. Alright everyone, I'll see you guys later. And have a great Mother's Day. And I'll see you in a couple days. See ya. Everyday Joe here. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, how's it going, Tommy? Hey, tell me what happened to your aunt a couple days ago. Okay, well, first off, I, I suppose I can't technically prove this. I've got no solid proof. However, what happened is my aunt got bur her house got burglarized. Yeah. They didn't steal anything at all. Weird. Not a thing. Not her TV, not her stereo, not her computer, anything like that. But they did root through her personal files, her bank account stuff. Stuff actually about me as well. And she thought that was a little weird. But needless to say, I think it was Scientology trying to dig up dirt on me and find out who I was. I agree, 100%. That makes sense. Those assholes. Yeah, they're fucking bastards, and they just won't stop until they win. But the problem is, we've already won, because we're not going to give up. Exactly. Ever, Scientology. Just, just admit that you're a corporation. You can keep doing what you're doing. However, we're going to stop you the way that you're doing it now. You're not a religion, and you know it. Awesome. Sounds good. This is going on the internet tonight, Scientology, to let the world know what happened. In my true opinion, I think it was Scientology that probably broke in there and did what they wanted to do. Yeah, this is the kind of shit they do. So, I'm glad he told us. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, Mom! Yeah! That was just... Why did Mary Sue Hubbard go to prison for Alan Hubbard's crimes? Why did the guy Quentin die and he committed suicide and he was gay? Where are you going? Come talk to us. My name's Tommy Gorman. Come back. Look at the nice little camera we got here from the Cult of Scientology. Well, there we go. Anonymous! What's up, man? Brought some people. I saw Yay. maybe three Scientologists, everyone. It's not just three or four of us anymore. I didn't think, I didn't think three or four people would have, so. Awesome, though. Good people. What's up, man? What? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Alright, basically. Yeah. Is the sound on? Yep, it's on. Alright. Oh, well, did you have a remote mic for me? Yeah. You should put a remote mic down here. I hey, know. That's Bob, that's on. I mean, uh, Mark. Mark okay. Bunker. Mark Bunker? Yeah. He does that all the time when I'm in LA. But yeah, he's a uh, he's a guy who's on many different websites, and he, you know. I was uh, I was on TV for uh, two and a half minutes in Chicago. Uh, wow, a few uh, months ago. Yeah. And uh, for next year, I was there. And they uh, put a remote mic right here, with yeah. the battery pack in my pocket. So uh, just telling that I'm hip to the uh, remote mics. It's pretty good. This is his first time out in San Francisco with the actual picking with Anonymous. Which is great he came because there's many people this is their first time and I'm glad you're here. That's pretty cool. He's known he met a lot of the main people, Bob Mitten. I met Mark Parker, I met Jeff Jefferson, I met uh, <laughs> Keith Henson. Oh wow. I met uh, all the big guys. Chelman Hauser. Keith Henson. 
guess I know right now he's not allowed to. I guess he's just got out of being in trouble and all this. Yeah, he's a Scientologist. Yeah, it's horrible. So do you know any more information about that? About Keith Hudson? Like, is he allowed to communicate, or is he just pretty much can't talk? No, now? no, I, I don't know anything about him. He hasn't been he hasn't been saying anything. So he wants to be quiet. I think to avoid the crowd. Yeah, it's terrible. Can you believe how he pulled that off on him? That's just so sad how Scientology would pull this crap on Keith, the good guy who out there with the courage to pick it by himself and head like next to RTC. It's just horrible. And what was he, 66 when this happened in this? Or? He was 66 years old? Yeah, was, yes. Yeah, that he was, was. It's just horrible how they would do that to someone like that. And they don't care your age, they don't care who you are, they just fair game people all the time. It's really sad. It's true. But at least you're out here and you got balls, so you're out here, that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I, I also attended a uh, demonstration in Chicago in uh, March, and uh, they, they were not allowed to go in front of the church, so I in front of the church, because I think the uh, cops, cops were paid off. That makes sense. And there were many, many more people uh, in, in Chicago than were here. And what they did was they walked around the block, walked around the block, which is uh, opposite the, uh, the uh, so-called church. Several times, so I took around 30 or some pictures of the, the uh, people walking around the block. That's awesome. It was good. And did you get anything? Did you get like a bunch of these PIs out there at that time, stuff taking pictures? I didn't see any. I didn't see any. It was similar to that in LA, uh, not the last time, but the time before. Um, recently, Tori said that they pretty much the cops seemed like they were paid off, and they closed off different sides of the streets when they didn't have permits. Yeah. yeah. Graham Barry, the uh, attorney. He was down there talking to them, and he proved that they didn't have permits, but they still said, if you come across here, we'll arrest you people. Yeah. It's sad yeah. how they can pay certain people off. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well you know, Mark Bunker got arrested in Chicago. They want to put him in jail for a couple of years because, uh, because he uh, they said he, he uh, trespassed on their property. Did you read about that? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. It's pretty well, sad. Yeah, I read about it. And what happened was, uh, he was going there to visit or something, and as soon as he stepped across a certain line, Took him. There were two uh, plainclothes cops there, or two co off duty cops who those guys uh, hired, and uh, and they arrested him and put him in jail for the night. And uh, they uh, they always charge him with assault. Was of course. Booker yeah. told me about this when I was down there for February 10th in LA. He was okay. telling me a little bit about this. Because on the first anonymous big protest, it went down because Tori asked me to come down and stuff because we didn't know who anonymous were. But they were great, and there was so many people down there. But Bunker was telling me pretty much what you just told me a little bit about that. Which is insane. But yeah, that's uh, really here. Hopefully, you keep coming out here. I'd be great to have you keep coming out because everybody counts. Everybody that is like here it counts. Because a lot of people are scared to come out here. But now they're getting, you know, like yourself, you're out here, and there's a lot of people that are starting to step up and be in person, which is awesome. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, we'll get, we'll be, uh, Thanks a lot for going on camera. Yeah, yeah but I want, I want somebody to take a picture of me. Yeah. Hold the sign. Okay. I want to show people that it's in uh, Piccadilly and uh, various places. Sure. Thank you. Talk to me. I want to talk to you. Well, you know me really well. You know I'm on the SP. Well, I'm not the SP. Come back. You wasted your life. Nice. I just did it on the floor. Yeah, Chris, oh, hello. sorry. Yeah. I didn't even see you. <laughs> I'm just well, recording I'm everyone. In front, supporting us. In front of the public. Bye bye. All right. Okay. We are not having a bus. We're in front of the public. Right here. Amazing. Right up. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Everybody is not at peace. I don't know, but that's right there. It's fun, too. Cool. Everyday Joe is taping us right now. He's awesome. Check out how many people are right here right now. We don't have, we have a, a few over here and a bunch of over there. We're going to protest and go around the block in a minute. Ready, guys? I'm loud enough Part of the event where we're protesting.